We're on the Thermo Fisher Scientific Extractables and Leachables tour, going right across India. So next, I think we're Vadodara, and the next seminar is Ahmedabad. On I can't pronounce those words. <laughs> I'm trying. by a far more. In our last episode we were talking extractables and leachables with Naiva in Ireland and this week we fly off to India and we're going to partner with global leaders in materials testing Smithers Rapra to connect with over 700 guests on our extractables and leachables India tour. Now India's home to 74 FDA approved pharma manufacturing sites and that's more than any other country outside the US. Let's go and join my colleague Kyle De Silva and Dr. Andrew Fielding from Smithers Refra as they talk extractables with an Indian twist. We're taking in uh, five, five cities, 11 flights. We're already two into those. We're in Mumbai. Introducing uh, extractables and leachables to the pharma and medical industry in India. The extractables test would be performed on the plastic coating, the wrapper, the aluminium cylinder, but for the leachables test you do it on the actual uh, product that you, you have to dispense. Yeah. So simply, extractables have possible impact, leachables have the actual impact, and leachables, these are the chemical species that the regulators are actually concerned with, they're the ones that uh, affect patient safety. Uh, some companies have started, uh, initiated some of the uh, work, but uh, they are not successful uh, 100%. Uh, it's a still the area for, uh, thirst area for them to understand and uh, come out with some kind of uh, robust solution for their challenges because the regulatory guidelines is not sufficient for them to uh, standardize some of the critical methods. So we're here in uh, Vadodara, India. So they have a massive team focused entirely on ensuring that, that their products are free of uh, leachable impurities. Thursday is the USP meeting, uh, talking, giving a brief introduction to extractables and leachables with specifics around USP, specifically 661, 1661, 1663 and 1664. And they're looking at everything from residual solvents to elemental impurities and uh, extractables and leachables. All the speakers were really up to the mark, top class. We've seen far more people that know exactly what's needed, the requirements, the pitfalls, the challenges associated. What are you doing next week? Keeping silent. <laughs> next for me, uh, shower uh, and then home. Bye. Thanks for joining the team in their journey across India. You can find Extractables and Leachables regulatory webinars and application notes from collaborations between Smithers and Thermo Fisher, as well as a host of other great content in our Extractables and Leachables Learning Centre. Go to thermofisher.com forward slash learn leachables. I look forward to seeing you next time.